We're here in New Orleans, nearly New Year's Eve with Nigel Wilson, and he did this amazing, look at this papaya, December 30th. How did you, what was your strategy? How were you able to keep yeah. these going? So I've been growing papaya trees here at the Stem Garden for the better part of seven or eight years. And I've, I've learned a couple things along the way. The first one is that a papaya tree takes between say 18 and 22 months to really bear a good crop of fruit. That means that you got to get them through at least one winter. But if you get them through just one winter, that's good enough. The following fall, you'll have a big crop. So what I do here or what I did two years ago was I came around with floating row cover. I'll show you some of that stuff. Okay. It's, it's this material, you can think of it being kind of like uh, used dryer sheets. Mm -hmm. It's a non-woven fabric. So I put a wrapping of Christmas lights and you gotta get the incandescent ones because mm -hmm. we don't actually want the light, we want the heat. So the inefficiency of incandescent bulbs is actually desirable here. And then you put that on and then you wrap it up in a good thick layer of this floating row cover. And that, uh, when we have these, these kind of winters that we get in New Orleans, most years it'll freeze overnight for a few nights. But we don't usually get these really hard killing frosts that last all day. So a, a wrapping like that is enough to save the bottom half of that tree. You can see way up there, I'm, I'm not even trying to save the top. I've, I've done this before. I've wrapped the entire tree all the way up to the tippy top. Waste of energy. Mm. All you really got to do is save the roots and the trunk. Mm -hmm. That way it makes the difference because papayas, if you just put the seeds in the ground, they'll germinate around May and you'll have these trees this big in May. And by the fall, they'll look big and they might even have some green fruit on them. But then uh, if you don't protect them that winter, they'll die. If you do protect them and you just let most of the top die back, but you keep the bottom couple feet of trunk, then what happens is that trunk starts to sprout new baby leaves in February or even as early as January. And those, those trunks with baby leaves three months earlier than, than when they would have germinated from seeds, that three months makes the difference. The following fall, that'll be a nice big healthy tree full of fruit. And you can see what it looks like. This one here, this tree is two years old, but only this much of it survived the winter. Right. All this is growth from this year. This right. tree was almost this tall last year and it died without producing fruit. Yeah. Back to here. But that much of a head start made the difference. And this right. year I've been harvesting from it regularly. Nice. It's beautiful, beautiful. The other thing I'd say is that I got this big happy looking tree right here, mm -hmm. but it honestly hasn't produced that much ripe fruit. I've gotten a couple good green ones off of it for mm -hmm. making some some tam, green papaya salad. Yeah. But for the ripe ones, you really need the full sun. I've got trees mm. that are, you know, maybe a dozen of them that are all approximately the same size. And yet this one guy that's right here getting the best full sunlight, yeah. that's produced probably 80% of the ripe papaya that I've gotten so far this year. Nice. Just for being in that direct sun. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you. This is amazing.